Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. Let's get a check on how co the commodity space is looking. Manisha joins us. Uh, hi, Manisha. Good morning. You know, we were just talking about the fact that there has been a bit of profit taking, a bit of a pullback across global equity markets. How are the commodities looking? Well, it has been a similar scenario here as well. Uh, when you look at the crude oil prices, we are still holding around that two-week highs, but slightly off from where we were trading in the market yesterday. There still are supply disruption concerns at the Red Sea, but the fact that the U.S. inventories have surged when it comes to crude and gasoline both, and much more than what the street was anticipating, is weighing onto the markets. In addition to that, the U.S. crude production is at a record, 13.3 million barrels per day. So markets are looking at supply disruptions on the one side, but the non-OPEC crude production production continues to be much on the higher side. In metals, uh, you have the gold prices still holding above $2,000 per ounce. Markets actually have come to a standstill because it's going to be about the uh, U.S. PCE data that the street is waiting for right now. Well, gold is taking support from the fact that there are geopolitical concerns. There is safe haven buying. It is U.S. elections the next year. So, but much then just keeping above $2,000 an ounce, it hasn't really made headways going forward. Same is the case with the industrial metals also. While we have seen gains from the lows, but uh, any more fresh, newer highs is something that the markets are completely devoid of. The volumes also have continued to decline as we head into the Christmas weekend. All right, we're seeing that across markets. Manisha, thanks a lot for taking us through all of those cues. But with